there. At night, sometimes I yell, I, I, I do karate, I hit the wall, I hit, you know? I think it depends on, on, on each individual uh, mind, you know? Some are worse, some are not too much. What do you think is the best way to cope with this? I, I don't know any way to do it. Just to keep on, keep on doing it, or whatever you do. Did you have any funny memories from your time in Korea? Well, no, no, no. I, I would say, um, uh, when I was, when I arrived in Korea, the battle line were at the other end of Korea, uh, enjoying battleground. Burn tank, truck, jeep, you know. Uh, that was something that uh, you see on television, on, on movies, but you never see it in life. And that's what I wanted to see. I wanted to see it myself. Did you have any other stories you might like to tell? Any closing statements? Um, no, no. I, uh, it's all right, but I, I think what I said is, it's nothing but the truth. And everybody appreciates the truth. Yeah. I'd like to thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me today. It's an honor yeah. and a pleasure. But most importantly, I'd like to thank you very much for your service. Yeah, well, yeah, that's a little bit I want to say. Um, five, six years ago, I built my own organization of Mexican American Veterans Association. But we take, we got all kinds of races in there. We do not discriminate, okay? Uh, and I did it because I wanted to uh, record the uh, World War II veterans before they, they all die. And it would, I think they're dying pretty fast. There's not too many around. And I did the same thing you're doing now with them. It's wonderful to collect their stories. And yes. I, I'm glad. I got a chance to collect yours today. Anytime. All right.